What's up guys, it's Lo and welcome to my channel. I am going to do a quick intro because I'm actually on my way to get my hair cut and colored and I'm running a little bit behind, sorry Tiffany. Um, but I wanted to take you guys along for my day and what I get at the hair salon. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different today and I'll tell you guys when I get there. All right, what's up guys? We are masked up and I am here with my hairdresser, Tiffany. Is hairdresser still the term or is that outdated? Um, Hairstylist, colorist, you know. So, okay, I haven't told her what I wanna do yet and I feel like you always kind of are like, are you sure you wanna do it? <laughs> because I definitely keep my hair pretty much the same all the time. So I don't want too big of a difference, um, but what I want is I want to keep the color the same. So I see with a little bit of more warmth than I was doing before. And then for the cut, I want to cut it like a like medium, like a maybe like right here, like a little below the shoulder. So maybe like cut three and a half to four inches. And then I want like in the front, I want the layers that are face framing, like the, the chunkier kind of like, not chunky, I don't know if that's the right word, but the layers that are face framing, but a little bit thicker. So I have a couple photos I can show you, but um, kind of like the long bangs where it's kind of tapered. Um, and then I kind of want a blunt cut for the bottom. What are your thoughts initially? That would be great. Um, so we want to pretty much keep it more one length and not do layers except for around the face. Mm -hmm. But you want to open it up a lot more than you normally do. Yes. Well, I guess we're going to get started. I'm excited for a little bit of a change. So as you know, with acting, I can't do too much of a change or have to get new headshots. And so with this, it's still gonna stay medium length. So it'll still be not too far off from how I have it. So my headshots will still work. But at the same time, it'll give me a change because I kind of want to change for the new year. And with the wedding, I wanted to have it long. So now I'm ready to just change it up. All right, well, let's get started. All right, so this is the final product. We have the layers in the front, or you wanna tell them, do you wanna describe it to them what you did? So all we did was a basic cut, and then we just took a lot of weight and length around the front to give her some movement without cutting into the interior of the hair. And how many inches did we cut off? We cut off about three and a half. We went in between instead of the whole four. Yep. Awesome! I love it so much. I'm so excited. It feels so fresh and, and good. It's just perfect for the new year and moving into spring for sure. Love it. Thank you, Tiffany. All right, guys. So I just got in the car and I love my hair. It feels so fresh. I love the length just like right below my shoulders. It feels so fresh for the new year and just feeling cute and married and I just like it. Okay, so now I have a couple errands. I am gonna go to Chick-fil-A because I'm starving. Hair appointments take like three hours. So gonna get Chick-fil-A and then I need to go to Diana Ray Jewelry and drop something off. And then I'm going to my apartment and my mom and possibly my grandma are meeting me there because they want some juice from my juicer. So they're gonna come over and we're gonna have a little juice party. I think that might be them calling. Hello? Hey, where are you? Hey, I'm about to leave to go to Chick-fil-A. Oh, you're just now leaving? Yeah. Okay, alright. I'm always going to go run and bring Mamaw home and then I'll just get text me when you get home. Okay, I will. Love you. Love you, bye. Bye. 
So I ended up going to Diana Ray first and my watch was actually ready. I got this watch for Christmas from Kayla. It is a citizen and I am so excited because I finally just got the links taken out so it fits. So I was able to pick that up and then now I am waiting at Chick-fil-A. So life hack, if your Chick-fil-A is like mine and the drive through line is super long, you should definitely order on the Chick-fil-A app and you can go to curbside and you just put your spot number in and it is just a game changer so i am waiting now for my food and then i'm so hungry so i'm probably gonna eat in the car and then i'm meeting my mom at my house but it's kind of ironic that she's meeting me to go juice and juice fruits and vegetables and here i am at chick-fil-a but i mean i can save the juice for later so and then this afternoon after that i need to do some work emails and some work stuff and then we will see where the evening takes us. All right, so I'm home and I actually just made the juice for my mom. I didn't film it because I was pretty focused on juicing. Um, but here is the juicer drying after cleaning it. The cleanup is not too bad. I would say it takes like five minutes to clean. But here's mom. And how was your juice, mom? It was so good. I was so ready for it. And um, this was carrot, apple, kale and celery and it was delicious and it made me feel really good I and i made her one for now and then one to go yes. that she's gonna put in the fridge and there's kayla back there working at his little work from home station so just a little afternoon juice party all right so my mom went home kayla was watching me vlog right now so i just out of that. We are going to do some chicken for dinner and so we have the oven preheating right now and we're gonna get that going in a minute. I have some emails that I need to sit down and do before the end of the day and today is Caleb and I's one month anniversary. So we aren't doing anything crazy pretty much in dating. We celebrated our anniversary literally every single month for the first how many months? So a year, a basically. Year. Um, so for marriage, we're not gonna do that because we already did that last year, but honestly, this is kind of bigger than just dating. One month of being married, it has been amazing so far and we love married life. It is so great. Living together <laughs> and being married. So I'm gonna go do some emails. I'm gonna close out the vlog here. What's up you guys and welcome back to the vlog. So I've had a little bit of a slow morning today. I have been up for a while. I've had coffee, I've had matcha, I've had oatmeal and I've made some TikTok content and some Instagram content and it's been a bit of a slow morning like I said and so I actually have my first ever magazine cover photo shoot today. So I'm very excited about that. That is later this afternoon. So a local magazine is featuring me from my role in Filthy Rich this fall where I was playing the young version of Kim Cattrall on the show. So that was super fun and I'm super excited for this shoot today. So I'm gonna be um, kind of getting ready later this afternoon for that and trying to figure out what to wear because I currently have no idea what to wear. But before I do that, I do need to go to the grocery store. So I don't know that I'm gonna put on any makeup right now because I kinda want my makeup to be fresh right before the shoot. So I'll probably just throw something on because we are literally out of groceries right now. So there is a lot of things that we need. So I think I'm gonna throw something on head over there and then I'll show you a little grocery haul and what I get and then we can do a little get ready with me for the photo shoot. All right, so this is what I'm wearing, this little sweater from Brandy Melville from PacSun, these baggy oversized jeans from Princess Polly and my Doc Martens. So I probably am going to throw on this sweatshirt on top because it is always freezing in the grocery store. So let's go.
All right, so I am back in my house right now, and I am going to start unloading. Bread-wise, we like this honey wheat bread. I like Dave's as well. I kind of mix it up, and then these Dave's cinnamon raisin remix bagels. And then that's for Caleb, and then I like this swirl cinnamon raisin toast. So that's a good breakfast alternative when you need like a quick breakfast on the go. So we are a big fan of crackers. So we have uh, saltines for Caleb and Ritz for me. And then we have Cheerios, which are another staple. Milano cookies, orange chocolate for when I'm craving a sweet. Whole almonds for Caleb. We got some ground beef and it is lean meat. I got six of these Celsius kiwi guava. We love these, they're so good. I got two frozen cauliflower pizzas. So this one is a broccoli crust pizza for Caleb. And then I got pepperoni for me. Pistachios for Caleb. Apple butter for both of us. Apples and cucumbers for juicing. And then hummus, Caleb eats a lot of hummus and then cheese and turkey. I already opened these chips, the baked laser, the cheddar and sour cream because I ate them in the car. Relatable. All right, so here's a little overview of our groceries. I already put away some of the items, but this is kind of an overview of what we needed today. So I'm about to do my makeup. I'm drinking a Celsius right now. And it is about two o'clock and I have the shoot at 3.45 and I'm gonna go to the location about an hour early so that I can pick out an outfit with my mom. I'm going to speed this up so you guys can watch and so it doesn't take like an hour of this vlog. So my makeup is done and so I am going to touch up my hair a little bit. I mean it looks really good because I just got it styled but I'm just gonna maybe go on over it with the round brush just like once and then I'll head over and figure out what I'm gonna wear. All right, so this is the look that I decided on. Just chic, a little bit business, but a little springy with the white top because this magazine will actually be coming out in April. So mom was my stylist. It was great. She's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's actually her clothes. So yeah, I really like these pants. They're from Anthropology. What brand are the boots? Um, Antonio Milani and the shirts Bella doll from Hemline. Wait, are you sure they're not Vince Camuto? Oh. Okay. Yeah, they're Vince Camuto. Uh, we both have a pair of these boots because we wear different shoe sizes. So, Hemline. Yes. So this is the look. I'm really excited for this shoot and I will see you guys later. Alright guys, as you can see, I am back home now, so I hope you enjoyed that little behind the scenes of the photo shoot. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Chelsea was amazing and she had so many great ideas, so that will be coming out in April and I'll be on the cover and there will be a little spread in there about my acting. So you guys will see that eventually on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, you can follow me at low underscore gram for fashion and acting content. So thanks so much for watching and if if you aren't subscribed, you can hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications for more vlog content. Bye guys.